It's Friday. Hope you had a great 4th of July weekend. Set off all those fireworks and kept everybody up all night. Now, coming up next, we got the latest in body piercing news, um, content news, and tattoos of the week from Wesley and Jack. So you better stick around. <laughs> Tattoo time, guys! Uh, this week's tattoo um, on Hallie. She's a regular. You guys have seen her before. Um, we're working on the sleeve for that's gonna be all black and gray with um, a color in it, with a little bit of color in it. Um, and so we got most of the upper half done, finally. Um, I'm giving her some break time. It's summertime. We'll let her do some swimming and things like that, getting outside and playing around, whatnot. So we'll jump back into it at the towards the end of the summer. But really, I want to focus on the inside. We got. The, these owl eyes on the inside here for her arm. Um, some bright yellow eyes. I really enjoyed it. It was fun to do. Um, she sits like a trooper, so I hope you guys really enjoy looking at it. I hope you really like the piece and want to come get something just like it or different eyes or anything else, too. So, anyways, that's it. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, yep, next up, Stavo, and we'll check with you next week. Thanks. Later. Stavo here with the body piercing and content news of the week. I find that funny. I don't think anybody else does. But anyway, um, first thing I should mention is that we finally hit over a thousand subscribers. Thank you very much for all those people that have been with us from the very beginning and welcome to all those new people that are watching us now. Without you, we'd just be another person putting things on the internet with no one paying attention. Thank you. Uh, we put in for our monetiz monetiz monetization and I'm sure that YouTube's highly trained and well-staffed and efficient people are working on it as we speak. Anyway, on to piercing news. Um, one thing I do have going on right now is a $10 off special. Through the end of July, come in, mention the code word firecracker. Should be easy to remember after all that that was going on the last couple days and get $10 off either the piercing of your choice or the grouping of piercings that you decide to get done. Uh, for all the details, check out the link in the description. On content news, on Saturday, posted the latest edition of Pros and Cons by a Piercer. That's me. I'm a piercer, and I do pros and cons. I give you five advantages, five disadvantages of, for one particular piercing or subject if you haven't watched one of those before. This week I covered Prince Albert piercings. For those that don't know, it's a male genital piercing. If you know anybody that's thinking about getting that done or you're thinking about getting it done yourself, I would suggest watching that video. On Sunday, we posted the latest episode of Q&A in the kitchen. This week, Jack, Wesley, and me, <laughs> Talked about um, what's disposable in the tattooing process and how much that's changed, well, the number of things that we do for your safety, including a little bit about what goes on with piercing. So if you've ever wondered, here's your chance to find out. On Thursday, as in yesterday, I posted the latest episode of Body Piercing Basics. This one I covered 10 common mistakes that your average person makes when getting a piercing. If you are considering getting a piercing, you need a piercing, what have you, even if you're somebody that's been getting pierced since, you know, Jesus was a sophomore, check it out. You might learn something. Tomorrow, uh, I'll be posting the latest episode in Pros and Cons by a Piercer. This time, I'm going to be covering navel piercings. So if you're thinking about that one, check that video out. On Sunday, we'll be uh, posting... The latest installment of the podcast edition of Q&A in the Kitchen. That will be going out on this channel around 5 o'clock. And also wherever podcasts live and frolic. And that's it for content and the piercing news. 
All that's left is for me to mention our spread shirt shop where you can pick up many of the same designs that you could buy here at Skin Kitchen, a few that aren't available here, and put it on any type of clothing item, coffee mug, or what have you that you desire, including hats. So check that out, link is in the description. As always, all of the content that we put out this week is linked in the description. When in doubt, feel free to comment if I missed something or you have a question about something. But if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, as always, I hope to see if your piercing needs in the future. Hello, tattoo fans. It's that time once again for Tattoo of the Week. Got a fun one from uh, for you from across the pond. This is uh, the Great Wall of China. Uh, the wearer of said tattoo uh, went to China a while back and uh, went and saw the wall and was just taken by it and wanted a reminder of the trip. And uh, so we did this. It took um, about three hours, I think, in one sitting, all black and gray, as you can see. And... Uh, yeah, I worked from a stock photo I found that had a nice, uh, had a good angle to it that I thought would fit the back of the leg really well. And um, yeah, freehanded in some clouds and stuff up top to finish it off and fill in the back of the leg. And I think it turned out really nice. It's got some good reactions and uh, I hope you like looking at it. Uh, let us know if you are in the mood for a tattoo by emailing us at shop at skinkitchen.com or calling us at 255-4430-515, of course. And uh, yeah, or come in and say hi, look around, uh, kick the tires, and uh, see if you like what you see. Uh, we hope to see you and have a great week and see you next time. Well, that's it. You've seen the Tattoos of the Week. You've heard the latest in body piercing news and content news. You've learned all kinds of fun facts and saw some interesting things. So what is there left for you to do but to like it? Say, hey, good job. Then subscribe if you haven't already. We post these weekly along with uh, four to five videos on body piercing and tattooing. So if you like that kind of stuff, here's a place where you should subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna make sure you don't miss any of them. One final thing, if you would like uh, any, have any questions, concerns, what have you, please leave a comment. I answer them on a regular basis and I like to talk to people. I'm a social butterfly. But till next week, if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, we hope to see if your piercing needs and tattooing needs in the future. <laughs>